wanna know his secret? Hey what is up guys, Grenader here, welcome to another episode of After Effects Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to animate in 5 minutes. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to add a solid in the back just so you guys can see what I'm doing because you can't really see what I'm doing if the background is white. Boom! Okay, so I'm going to animate this and I'm going to make it kind of like an intro. So this is where your creativity comes in in your mind just kind of play out how you want it to go and you can do that so uh firstly let's um add a keyframe because we, we're gonna add a lot of keyframes uh hit p on your keyboard and that um, will indicate uh the position stuff you click on the little stopwatch hit um s for scale r for rotation and that's it so now hit U on your keyboard and you should have all these three things so again P is for position S is for scale and R is for rotation and you want to do this like almost in the middle of the timeline so that way uh, when this is how it's gonna look at the end of all the animation we're gonna do so we're basically working backwards so this is what it's gonna look like and so now uh, let's say I want the position I want it to come from the right and so now if I go through this it's coming from the right and it ends here so again a keyframe is basically a point in time where After Effects knows that it has to be there at a certain spot and have certain settings that done at a certain time so there we go we got that and um, let's see another thing we could do is we could add a scale so we could make it small so just change this to zero and so that way when it comes out it does this motion thing like that and one more thing we could do we could just jack up this number to a crazy number like that and it basically does a rotation so boom 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 there you go grenada and then there you go you can do that um, you can also grab this and move it to wherever you want to and it will move wherever you want to and then you just move so I can do that and do that and then have it end over here so now when I go through all this it's gonna look just like that it's gonna follow that path just like that so that's what I mean by if you can envision it you can make it so let's assume that this is what we want and this is how we like it we're going to select all these keyframes move them um, almost to the beginning so that way it goes just like that it comes in wham right where you want it and um, just for the sake of the video I'm gonna change this oh there we go I'm gonna change that to the middle so that way boom wait just kidding you know what forget it so it's gonna be there and then what you want to do is you want to grab these keyframes over here and select them hit control C or copy and then hit control V or paste and then you want to right click keyframe assistant um, oh wait don't easy easy it yet but what you want to do you want to select these right click here it is oh my god okay so here's where I messed up first you have to select all the keyframes that you have here and then you want to right click and then easy ease and then right click again and then you can do the time reverse now you don't want to have everything selected when you're doing time reverse just this uh, these last three keyframes so basically After Effects knows that um, it has to do all the animation here gets to the middle and then you select these three at the end and you right click and again time reverse um, and it reverses whatever you did at the beginning so that just the same way just like it came in it's gonna go out and so there you go and then one more thing you could do you could turn on motion blur and enable that and then it should look pretty awesome like that and it should look pretty good then it comes right back up so um, real quick I'm going to um, here's a little problem as you can see it goes in and it goes back out it doesn't really stop so uh, to stop it you would select the uh, keyframes in the middle hit control C or copy control V paste and then there you go it stops right here so this time or this little space here is a time that it will not move so if you want it to last longer then you move it like that 
and then it just lasts there and then it goes away and f same thing for the animation if you want to speed that up you got to close up this gap here just like that and it will um, in turn go faster so the animation will be much faster it'll land there and it'll go away just as fast and then that's pretty much it guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below hopefully this was under five minutes like I promised I'll probably have to do some cut editing and some editing because I messed up a couple of spots because I mean I don't do this all the time but I, I basically know the basics of it so thank you guys for watching peace out